I'm Mike Gross. And I'm Jack Hosmer. And welcome to the Raiders Sports Report. First, we're going to check in with girls basketball with Casey Ferguson. Hey, Casey, how are you? Hi, Jack. How are you? I'm good. So how are the girls doing so far? As the, as the season starts, the girls are off to a great start with an overall record of 6-2 and two and a conference record of 1-2. and two. Um, Who are some standout performers so far? Stephanie DeVizio and senior Brianna O'Brien are the leading scorers for the girls' team. Um, do they have any special events coming up? A few weeks ago, they played at Benedictine Academy in a tournament, and they went 3-0. and That's great. Thank you. Now let's go to Rachel DeFabrizio with Boys Swimming. Hey, Rachel. How are you? Hi, I'm good. How are you? I'm pretty good. Um, how have the Boys Swimming team started off their season? Right now, they're 4-3. to three. And they lost against Chatham, which was upsetting, but they just came back and had a victory against Cranford. Awesome. Um, how have they recovered after so many people last year graduated? Um, they have recovered from many underclassmen stepping up and performing to their best ability. Nice. Who has really stood out so far through, through the season? This season, Nick Keith has made a positive impact on not only the scores, but also the general um, atmosphere of the team. Thank you, Rachel. Yep. Speaking of Nick, he's our Male Athlete of the Month. Let's go to Nick and Liam. All right, I'm here with this month's Male Athlete of the Month swimmer, Nick Heath. How are you, sir? I'm doing well. Can't complain. How you doing? You know, I'm doing pretty well myself. So uh, you're a swimmer. You're on a swimming team. How's the season going so far? Um, You know, it's going all right. We uh, we lost a lot of people to graduation, um, you know, but uh, we're, we're hanging in there. Some of the younger kids are stepping up. Yeah. It's, uh, it's it's gone. Do you guys have uh, any captains on the team or anything like that? Um, I mean, captains weren't officially named. Uh, we really just looked, just all upperclassmen looked to be leaders. All right. Who are some uh, standout uh, upperclassmen or maybe lowerclassmen? Uh, we got uh, we got Dan Donaldson. Um, he's uh, he's really stepping up. Uh, yeah. And then um, Lucas Rute. Yeah, yeah, he's killing it. Lucas, yeah, great job, man. Shout out Rute. Good job, pal. Anybody else? Um, you know, the whole team's just uh, putting their best efforts forward. We got a couple kids from uh, Magnet School really uh -huh. doing well. Yeah. So, uh, what's uh, the record for the team now? Uh, I think we're um, four and four, maybe. Oh, not too bad, not too bad. Yeah, yeah. So, right. you got any uh, upcoming matches that uh, you know the team's really excited got, for? Yeah, uh, I got a big match, uh, big meet next week. Big, large meet. Um, going against Summit. All right. Yeah, yeah, should be fun. <laughs> nice large meet. I like that. All right. So uh, before we wrap it up, it's your senior year. Do you have any uh, plans after uh, high school uh, as far as swimming goes? Um, you know, I'll probably uh, look to get involved with some some club water polo in college. Maybe use use those skills there. All that right, should be right. pretty cool. I'm um, a little over the uh, whole whole competitive swimming thing. Um, you know, I'm, I'm about ready for that to be done. But uh, for sure, want to stay uh, connected in the community. Yeah, yeah that's what I like to hear. So uh, last question for you, Nick. Uh, Friday night, what can I find you doing? Friday night, you can uh, you can find me maybe hanging out with my friends, um, just looking for something fun to do, you know? You know? Yeah, yeah. All right, that's what I like to hear. All right, Nick, thank you very much. It's been a pleasure. Of course. Thank you for interviewing me. And now to Chris with Girl Swimming. Chris, how are you? I'm good, Jack. How are you? I'm good. So how have they done so far? So far, all the girls have a record of 6-1, and one, and they've had a really strong start to the season. Who are some of the top swimmers on the team? Well... Senior Rachel Mazes is really stealing the show. She's a real great swimmer at the one breast. And Raider News' his own Rachel DeFabrizio doing great on that five free. That's awesome. Do they have any upcoming meets that are really important? They face IHA on the 10th, and they face uh, Summit on January 30th. Thank you, Chris. Thanks, Jack. Now we'll go to Bradley with Varsity Wrestling. Bradley, what's up, man? Mike, how you doing? Let's cut the small talk. Let's get down to wrestling. A lot's happened. The beloved coach, Mark Fabiano, unfortunately has been diagnosed with a concussion and has not been coaching the past few weeks of the Raider wrestling team. Well, all our best wishes go out to Fabs, but how have the wrestling team kicked off their season? Well, currently the record is 7-2, uh, and two, and uh, they're doing s pretty good so far in their matches. Uh, there's a lot to come from the season as it's still c going on. Who has stepped up so far throughout the nine matches they've had? 
You know, when you're asking uh, who stepped up from last year, that's kind of a tricky question because last year it was a really young team. So this year it's kind of a lot of the same guys. So we have a lot of seniors who are really showing talent out there on the matches field. Um, that's really great to hear. But besides, I guess, Sam and, or Mikey or something like that, who might have a, the best shot at winning a title, I guess, even this year or in the upcoming years? Well, if I'm really being honest with you and myself here, I got to say Sam Westerfeld is most likely to win a state title just because of his prior wins. And, you know, if you saw Mr. Spiffy High, look at that bod. He's like a demigod. He's got the muscles ready to win. All right. That's great, Bradley. Thank you. Uh, and now into some local sports news. Um, the basketball teams have been performing pretty underwhelmingly. Uh, the Knicks record is 19-21. and 21. Their top scorer is Kristaps Porzingis, who is who has scored 23.7 points per game. Uh, he's kind of a beast. Oh he, yeah, he does it all. The basically. unicorn. Yeah, yeah. He kind of he teleports. Yeah. Have you seen those? Yeah. Um, <laughs> they play the Bulls next, and the Bulls are doing pretty awful this year. So hopefully the Knicks can get a win. Uh, the Nets' record is 15 and 25, with their top scorer being D'Angelo Russell with 20.9 points per game. Although he's been injured for a couple of weeks as well as Jeremy Lin, so their attacking, uh, their attacking power has kind, kind of been sidelined. Um, yeah, uh, and now on to uh, football. football. Right, so uh, the Giants, they just were terrible throughout yeah. the season. Um, they only got two wins out of their 16 games, but they did hire a new GM after firing Ben McAdoo and all that situation, benching Eli, uh, which I still didn't agree with, but yeah. it happened already. And um, is there any chance Eli Manning will retire? We don't know, but that could be soon and very, very soon in the future. The Jets ended the season 5-11. and 11. Um, Rookie Jamal Adams definitely shined this year. He had 82 tackles, two sacks, and only missed 15 snaps all season. So that's pretty good to hear for him. Yeah. Um, and now some, some hockey. The New York Rangers are 22-15-5. They currently stand fourth in the Eastern Conference and 13th in the league. They had a really rough start at the beginning, but they've uh, managed to you know, get their composure together and uh, getting, getting some victories. Yeah. Um, yeah, their top scorer right now is Michael Grabner, who has 18 goals. They've kind of had a widespread variety of different scores, so it hasn't been one big star that has been really outperforming everybody. But Matt Zuccarello has 31 points, and he leads the team uh, in those numbers, and he keeps performing really well. Yeah, and the, uh, the Devils are 22, 11, and 8. They've dropped five straight. And they're third right now, sitting in the Metropolitan Division, yeah. led by really Travis well. Zajac. Yeah. Yeah. Really and uh, Monday night was the college football playoff, and Alabama beat Georgia, the th uh, four seed beating the three seed, uh, 26 to 23 in overtime, led by Tua Tagovailoa. Uh, he's a true freshman, and he checked in at halftime for Jalen Hurts, who really wasn't doing that well. He only had three for eight completions in the first half. And he gave Nick Saban his sixth title, and now he's tied with Bear Bryan, the great. Yeah. So. And now on to Julia with The Pulse. As 2017 comes to an end, let's reflect on all the great music that came out that year with the top albums of 2017. <laughs> All right, so now we're going around asking students what their favorite album of 2017 was. I'm here with Gabby. Gabby, what was your favorite album 2017? Love is Rage of Two. Ah, by Lil Uzi. Good choice. All right, so I'm here with the boys. So guys, what was your favorite album 2017? Go down the line, Tommy. Huncho Jack, Jack Huncho. Hey, where you from? Uh, that is a good one. I did like that one myself, featuring some very good uh, artists and some very good songs. I feel like that would be uh, pretty successful for the Migos, or whatever his name is, Quavo and uh, Travis Scott. All right, Teddy, what was your favorite? Uh, I'm going to have to go with Quality Control. That was a good album. That that also featured many good artists. That's, uh, yeah, that was, that was a very good one. What about you, Eddie? Oh, 2017. Uh, honestly... I'm a fan of Huncho Jack, like Tommy. We see eye to eye, yeah, yeah. I was already said, come on, you, don't, you, you can't. I, 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 don't, I don't have another one. You're just necking them at that point. But that, it was a good album, so I guess it does uh, deserve, uh, you know, two, two votes. 
I'm here with sophomores Dean and Ryan. Uh, those fries look great. Uh, as 2017 is ended, uh, what are your favorite albums of 2017? Uh, you know, something I listen to with my bros is uh, Cardi B. <laughs> Yeah. Last year an album? Yeah. Hey. Little Uzi's album was pretty good. Uh, Love is Rage 2. Uh, you have a favorite song? Not really. Not really, because all of them are good. Ooh. That's true. What would you guys say is your favorite album in 2017? Control by SZA. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, Control. best album. Best album. And second best, I would say, would be Lust for Life by Lana Del Rey. Do you guys have any favorite songs off of either of those albums? Yes, The Weeknd. Yes. Supermodel is definitely yes. our favorite. We listen to that every morning. <laughs> Mr. Yeah. Government yeah. Flash. Hey, do you want a snippet? Yeah, do you yeah. want a snippet? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. okay. <laughs> Tuesday and Wednesday, Thursday and Friday. I just keep him satisfied through the weekend. Yeah, You're like, like nine to five. five. I'm the weekend. <laughs> Make him lose his mind every week. Thank you so much. Thank you. Definitely. <laughs> Thanks for your time, guys. S-C-A, over here. <laughs> What's up? All right, good job. Winter break is a great time to relax, have fun, and celebrate the holiday season. Let's look at the social media posts that the SPF students posted to see how they spent their break. Now back to Mike and Jack. Thank you so much, Julia. I'm Mike Gross. I'm Jack Cosmer. This has been your Raiders Sports Report. Hey. <laughs>